There in light. The last part of the sun done before the full of west. And Karja Horn. That means the Lipsy strikes in. Alright, I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> so what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Special how? The Tanakh are returning one of our own, a soldier by the name of Fashav. He's been their captive for five years. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olvind was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace okay. yourself. And good luck. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? 
Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Far off. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry. Can't do it. Sir, it's the savior! I don't care if it's the Dowager Queen herself! The gate stays sealed until that horn blows! I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Take it easy on yourself. Hey, Varl! Hi, Aaron. Uh... What's happening? Are I, you know, the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. To save in the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Burl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time.
we've survived worse. You 
Outlanders! I'll skin you both! Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. <clears throat> Next, girl. I've never seen a shield like that. Better scan it. I'm not giving up. But that shield will break if I hit hard enough. You're not stopping me! A shield like that. Better scan it. Generated. Me. 
I'm gonna break that shield! That shield's not gonna- 